guys uh, welcome to another tutorial video from the website genie and in this video we'll talk about something which is pretty basic but uh, it is still something which uh, annoys me a lot and uh, you know you don't see these kind of things in professional websites so the thing that i'm talking about is uh, is links is, is when you click on links there is a border that comes up on outside of the link so say for example i'm on the home page right now and by the way guys if you want to create a website uh, you can check out some other videos on our channel where we show you how you can create uh, exciting features on your website like something like this so this is a created featured product layout so this is not what you get in with with the normal woocommerce default product layout so if you want to create something like this or if you want to see how you can uh, learn more on woocommerce products like simple or bookable products or variations you can check out these videos that are on our channel having said that uh, let's get back to the tutorial that we are doing currently so say for example we are on the home page right now and we want to click on accessories so once we click on accessories there is this uh, you know border that comes up so that is something which i do not uh, like so if you similarly if you go to the account page so sometimes there is a border and sometimes there isn't so just like this one the about page again if you go to the home page there is this border so this border is something which you do not really see on professional looking website similarly for buttons if you click on a button say if you want to click on the find more button so it doesn't have a link that is why it doesn't go anywhere but then you can see this border around this button so that is something which we do not uh, which i feel uh, you know shouldn't be there on your website <clears throat> so this is a css property so it is trying to focus on everything that we click be it a link or be it a button so we have to get rid of this focus and we need to make the outline as zero so uh, there would be some some coding that would be involved here but uh, i'll share the codes uh, in the description box you just need to copy and paste those codes in your wordpress website so uh, the place where you paste uh, these codes are in the customized section so if you are using elementor pro you can just open up your edit with elementor section and uh, at the bottom you will find add additional css so if you click on edit with elementor so this is only for guys who are using elementor pro if you're if you're using elementor free version you can just skip this uh, tutorial to a bit ahead and uh, I'll, I'll show you how you can do it if you do not have Elementor Pro. So say for example using Elementor Free and you can click on any section. You just go to the advanced and then there is a thing called custom CSS. So you can just add that here. But this is only for Pro uh, users. So we'll get rid of uh, this Elementor uh, editing panel. So we'll go back to the normal home page that we have. And you need to go to this customize section. So this is the WooCom this is a WordPress customizer and the one that we use for editing with Elementor that is the Elementor customizer. But in order to add the CSS codes, we'll use the WordPress customizer because Elementor won't allow us to do that. So once we are in the WordPress customizer, if you scroll down, you would find there's a section called additional CSS. So this is where we need to add the additional CSS. So I'll add the additional CSS. I'll explain to you what is actually going on so that you can understand rather than just copying and pasting. So uh, we'll first copy this second code that we have here. So we'll copy it and we'll paste it not just uh, beside this uh, third bracket. We'll place it below this bracket. And so this is the code. So the thing that is happening is once I'm once a link is active and we are focusing on a link so that is when we're clicking on a link the outline should be zero and there is no border so, and the outline style is none so this is what is basically happening so i'm clicking on a link so the css code is telling wordpress that i do not need any outlines on that and i do not need any borders and obviously if there is no outline or no border the outline style is none so this is basically what is happening so if you click on publish and uh, now if we get rid of the customizer and we go back to the home page now if you click on any link this borders won't be coming up so this is a very easy way you just need to copy and paste a few lines of code and that is also i'll give it in the description box so that get rid of the get rid of this uh, border so this is very important and this is something which i feel that you know most most of the you know professional looking websites they do not have this kind of uh, you know borders okay uh, so now that we have got rid of this uh, you know link 
borders so these are the links so we have got rid of this link borders we we'll see how we can get rid of the button borders as well so if you click on buttons like find more the borders won't come up so we'll again go to the customize section and this time we'll copy the first line of code and we'll paste it in the additional CSS section again uh, below this last bracket that we have and we'll publish this so what that will do is it will get rid of the you know uh, outline on the buttons as well so now if you click on the button it doesn't have a link but the borders won't be showing up so that is how you get rid of you know outlines on links and buttons so i feel that is very important and uh, it, it it isn't that much of an issue if you don't look at it that way but then i think if you're looking if you're building a professional website maybe for your own business or for your client you should have you should make it something which is perfect in every way so you shouldn't see these kind of borders and outlines on your uh, you know website that looks pretty you know unprofessional to me so but that is completely my personal thought so you guys can go ahead and give it a try and again guys if you have learned something uh, of value in this video please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up and if you are going to use this in your next website project please share this video and spread the word thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next tutorial video